there were 10 men around me. The feeling that they're taking me like I'm some kind of object, I just couldn't, I couldn't stand it. My instinct was just to fight, to do what I can. I was really scared that they're gonna rape me there and that they're gonna drag me through Gaza streets and parade my body around. So I feared that more than being killed. I was chained for three weeks in Gaza. I was kept in a really dark room without being able to move. And whenever I needed to go and use the bathroom, I needed to ask for permission. His name was Muhammad. He used to sit on the bed in front of me, wearing his uh, shorts, um, laying down. I remember I couldn't look at him. I was just like looking away and uh, covering myself with the blanket so I wouldn't have to look at him. It made me feel really uncomfortable. He also kept asking me, uh, do I like sex? Do I have sex with my boyfriend? And I, I, whenever he talked about it, I just like giggled and say, oh, come on, stop, stop, trying to change the subject. I knew that he's, he's up to something. I knew that something bad is going to happen. Um, so one day, Muhammad came and gave me women's sanitary pads. He said, damn, damn. When you get your period, after that, you'll take a shower and you'll wash your clothes. And he kept repeating that every couple of times a day. And then I got my period. And the, the period was just for one day, but I fooled him to think that the period is continuing until I could not lie anymore. He untied me and took me to the kitchen and showed me um, a, a pot. I remember thinking, how can I avoid that? There's nothing I can do. 